How would you feel if you could not take control of your actions? You've probably had this moment in your life when the desire was stronger than the reason. A moment when it was just too difficult to resist the impulse. Now just imagine this happening every single day of your life. This is what addiction feels like. Today I will be talking about a chronic disorder, a brain disease that can cause major depression in numerous cases, a disorder that makes people 15 times more likely to die because of suicide, a disorder that consumes your life. Now, I'm certain that all of you know about drug addiction, but what if I tell you that I'm not talking about drug addiction, but an addiction that has twice its prevalence, affecting 100 million people worldwide. I'm talking about gambling addiction. Through the years, there has been a lot of research concerning drug abuse. However, gambling addiction has remained a bit in the shadows. If you think about it, it's quite different to consume some kind of drug than just playing a game. Why would both of these disorders have anything in common? Well, the answer lies in the brain. Gambling addiction is a brain disease to which we haven't found a cure yet. We miss hard proof evidence on what are the main affected brain areas. Previous studies have looked at only one aspect of the brain, leading to a huge variation in the results. Now, this is where my research comes in. During my PhD, I've been looking at brains of gamblers, trying to find those areas that make them lose control. No worries, I promise I haven't been opening any skulls. I've been getting brain images from our participants through a brain scanner, which then let me compare gamblers versus healthy people. Here I investigated several aspects of the brain, focusing on structures, function, molecules, and even lesions. What's really, really interesting is that the findings were very similar to those reported in drug addiction, showing alterations in the following areas. Take a look at the, the image of the brain. See those colorful regions? They form the frontostriatal circuit, the green region at the front, the brakes, and the red ones in the middle, the drive. And you might be thinking, what does it mean? Why this circuit? Well, imagine that you are on a diet and you see a piece of chocolate cake. Suddenly, this middle part of your brain goes, oh yeah, I, I need that now. No, stop it. The frontal part puts on the brakes. Well, this is thanks to a healthy frontostriatal connectivity, and this is what is affected in addiction. These are exciting times, as this is the closest we've ever been to finding a brain target to cure both drug addiction and soon gambling addiction once and for all. Thanks to my research, we have now been able to confirm the main affected brain areas in gamblers, which we can then apply treatments to, fixing this circuit and finally changing life for these 100 million people. Thank you.